strong. Man, let me talk to you. I'm here, Ninnis, for the clear hurling final between Clan Lara and Crusheen. And I've met a good few people this morning. And they said, forget about Crusheen. They're going to get destroyed. Then a lucky run to the final. I completely disagree. They 100% deserve to be here. And if anyone believes that nonsense, all I have to say to you is, a shush. A shush. The thing about Crusheen this year, in the quarter final, everyone said they'd be well beaten by Newmarket and Fergus. They won it impressively. In the semi-final, everyone said Scarif would beat them. But again, they won it impressively. This year, they've got that winning mentality. And you can't teach that. Would you believe now I'm here now with the mother of the Clan Lara manager? That's she, right. She didn't sleep all night. She's up with worry. Are you going to win uh, today? The words that you're looked at, and we're going to the woods. Now, sir. You're spot on. How are you both? How are you going? Looking at both teams, I'd expect John Conlon at centre forward to be the main man for Clan Lara today. And the crushing side, Key and Dylan at full back. What a warrior. He never plays a bad game for Crushing. So as regards a prediction, I'm going to go Crushing to win by two points. Capiche? Shush! Shush! So that woman there asked me. champions clear what a brilliant team they are Get rid of it. O'Mara again. 
He stacked it very well, O'Mara. Gives it across. That's gone in, gone high, and gone over the bar. Good point there. Very good score there by McMahon, the midfielder. This man the field by far is the Clonlara centre back. He's clearing everything. No bread. No water. Just me. Michael O'Loughlin to give Clan Lara a two-point lead. Oh, that's wide, that's wide, that's wide. Desperate bad wide. Desperate wide. Oh, knocked down. Clan Lara have it. Up to Ian Galvin. Galvin. Oh, Galvin. Ahead, ahead of his man there. Ahead of Keane Dillon. He'll go for a goal. Chance inside O'Loughlin. Michael O'Loughlin buff. Michael O'Loughlin. And the pass by Ian Galvin. And it was absolutely delightful. Oh, give it to John Conlon. Great John Conlon looking for his second point from play. Gives it inside. O'Loughlin. The man that got the goal. Still O'Loughlin. Turning. Swinging. Striking. Driving. Sheena 
rolling. Ian Galvin again, the dangerous and speedy Ian Galvin sends it in and sends it over the bar. Another point by Galvin. Best player in the field, Ian Galvin. Dangerous ball inside. Another full forward knocks it down. Johnny O'Grady challenge him. match. Sean Kelly is up from the kingdom. Great hurling man, Sean Kelly. Great hurling man. There's two great clear minors behind me. Owen Gunning and Michael Collins. They won an All-Ireland minor for the banner this year and they definitely deserve two claps and a Ric Flair. Woo!
Yes, indeed. A glory day for Clanlara. By God, there were some great days had here in this terrace. Mighty days down through the years. When it was packed to capacity. I'm thinking back to 2018 when Claire beat Limerick here. Limerick went on to the win the All Ireland. But Claire came here and they beat him. Short Claire said to the Limerick men, Out, 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 out! As regards men of the match today. What the I, I think I'd give oh, no. I think I'd give it to Ian Galvin. Oh, he was outstanding. Oh, he was everywhere. Oh, yes indeed. Champions of Claire. I suggest oh, he pause for a moment and oh, drink it in, man. Oh, I'm with a massive Claire supporter now. And what I wanna know. And Limerick, the best hurling team in Ireland. No, they're not. They're not? Who's better? Claire. And is, is Tony Kelly the best hurler in Ireland? Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> and the Claire hurlers, where are they going? To the moon. To the moon. <laughs> so I was walking down the street here in Innes, and I met this man from Clare Castle. And he said if Clare Castle were in the Kerry Senior Championship, they'd win it easy. <laughs> Not a hope! Not a chance! Don't be a ravey! There's 15 teams in Clare better than Clare Castle! No, 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 no. Name a Clare Castle man that would knock Mackesy! Mackesy! He'd run through! He'd knock you around the face! My God, he'd fight! If Mackesy got a hold to you, he'd have heads in you like Spanish! Chumlets. Mackesy would be thrown around the place. Shush! Uh, uh, shush! Bobby I Duggan again, it's cr cricket scoring. If Clare Castle <laughs> were in Kelly, they, would, they wouldn't even make the quarter final. Uh, Get away! Uh, 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 Clare Castle Magpies too! Deletion! Delete! 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 But that's a very good debate. Would Clare Castle win the Kerry Cena Hurling Championship? And in my opinion, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Of the eight North Kerry teams, at least five of them are better than Clare Castle. And that's not an insult, that is just a fact of life. Look, it's simple. If Kilmeidy played Clare Castle, they'd beat him by about seven or eight points. If Benny Duff played Clare Castle, they'd beat him. If Lick Snare played Clare Castle, they'd beat him. If Crotter, how's it going? If Crotter played Clare Castle, they'd beat him. What are our teams up there? Um, Artford. Artford to be 50-50. So all them teams would beat Clare Castle. And there's no doubt in my mind, absolutely no doubt in my mind, they'd beat Clare Castle. And that's no disrespect to Clare Castle. But Clare, as I said, there's about 15 or 16 teams in Clare better than Clare Castle. And to say they're better than the best teams in Kerry, not a hope, not a hope. And one other team from North Kerry that would beat Clare Castle is Causeway. They'd beat them by about seven or eight points. So if anybody thinks Clare Castle would win the Kerry Cena Hurling Championship, they're off their head. They're off their fucking head. Look at that for a monstrosity of an article. They'll take that to Clannara tonight to play a few tunes. Is that a Limerick horror? By God! Oh, Limerick! Hey, you Limerick villains! Out, out, out! Tony Kelly, Tony Kelly, show you next year! Come on, Tony Kelly! Villains, villains! Look, I suppose there was never a horror in Limerick as good as the great Tony Kelly. Limerick! You never had a man like him, huh? John Tony Kelly said to Declan Hannon, out, 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 out. <laughs> Kelly would sentence Hannon to deletion, delete, 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 ye Limerick villains. So finally, before I leave it here, I want to know, are Limerick going to win the All-Ireland next year? John, John Kelly will bring it back to there. there. John Kelly will bring it back to oh, there? He will. He will. He will. No, man. Yes, yes, man. Shush! <laughs> Shush! Get out. As well today, congratulations to Porta Ferry. They won back-to-back down-scene hurling titles for the first time in 20 years. They beat their 
all rivals, Belly Cran, 20 points to 16. Now they'll face the Antrim champions, Cushendall, in the Ulster semi final.